Fill us with your love. Fill us with your hope. Fill us with your joy. Let us sing and dance and celebrate your goodness here in this place. And Father God, as we just take some time to hear from your word and be inspired by what you want us to hear, Lord, we just thank you that you are at work in this place and at work in our lives. For those that may be struggling, for those that may be hurting, for those that may have questions, Father God, I pray that you just come and meet people on the crossroads of life and where they're at. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all that you've done. Thank you that we can be your hands and feet, that we can have a positive witness to the world around us of your love, of your hope, of your grace and salvation. Lord, help us to walk through those doors of faith, hope and love. Help us to be people of courage and conviction. Help us to be people who care and hope and help. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. This morning we are looking at a door of love that we're knocking on and walking through. Doors are interesting things. Some doors open. Some doors are closed. Some doors are locked. Some doors we can't find. Where is that door? Where's that entrance to that building? I've got the address and... Sometimes we need to have courage and to turn the handle and see what's behind it. Sometimes we need to have courage to take that step of faith and to walk through that door. So today our door is a door of love. We love lots of things, don't we? We love donuts. What about that? Very funny story. Yesterday my daughter Sarah cooked some amazing donuts. Ask no more about that. She may even have a photo on her phone. They were amazing. Really good. A little secret, potato is good when you're making donuts. Not that I'm a chef, but I think I am. Um, that's a whole other story. <laughs> yes, tried to cook cake once and the powder went out. Uh, that's a funny story in my household. Yes, lovely chocolate cake, easy, big and bake chocolate cake, whacked it in, powered out. It was, it was funny games. We love lots of things. We love kittens and dogs and rainbows and unicorns and clouds and one another. We love spaghetti and we love coffee, amen. Yes, that's right. We love it. How easy that word love rolls off our tongue. Maybe we love the rain. Maybe we love that it's cooler. How easy the word love rolls off our tongues. 1 Corinthians 13 is the great passage on love. We love to roll that out at weddings, us pastor types. And, but really, it's, it's a lot more than... A Bible reading that's good for a wedding. It's a Bible reading that's good for us this morning. As we look at a door of love. And as we open a door of love. And as we be people who love others because of what Jesus has done for us. He went upon a cross. He did the hard thing that we could not do. So it's 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 1 to 8. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but do not have love, I'm only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith, that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all my possessions to the poor, and give over my body to hardship, that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. In this passage, love is underpinning our spiritual expression. Our spiritual experience, our gifting. You may look and sound like you have it all together, but if you're a void of love, friends, it's just a whole lot of noise. Let's stop putting on a show. Let us be real to those around us. We continue to read there that love is patient. 
Love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not distort, sorry, it does not dishonor others, it is not self seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. All we need is love. love da, da, da. Thank you. Thank you, the three of you. In some ways, that's so true. All we need is a little bit of love. And it goes a long, long way. It's been said, work like you don't need the money, dance like nobody's watching, love like you've never been hurt. We all at some times in our life have been misunderstood, been betrayed, been forgotten, been hurt, been missed out, felt unloved and un unloved and unappreciated. Jesus said to us, offences will come, trials will come, accusations will come, hardships will come. It won't be easy as you follow me. But don't give up, friends. Because the Lord Jesus Christ has not forgiven up on us. He has not forsaken me and he has not forsaken you. And so he stands with us and says, be people of love. We've all known what it's like to cry tears of sadness and despair. And to scream at the sky and say, why God? Let's not be bitter. Let's not be angry. Let's not lose hope. Let's not be mean. Let love rise up. Don't let those feelings rule your life. Be the better person. Easy to say, hard to do. To be the bigger person, or the better person. We love to be the bitter person, but be the better person. Because I have a choice, and you have a choice, and we have a choice. The story of Joseph in the Old Testament. He's a great example of this. Sold as a slave, betrayed by his brothers, accused for things that he didn't do. And in Genesis 45, it'll be up on the screen there for you. This is sort of the triumphant end to all that has happened. Genesis 45, 4-7. Then Joseph said to his brothers, Come close to me. When they, did so, when, when they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, the one you sold into Egypt. And now do not be distressed and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. Their brother Joseph sold as a slave. He is now... Just below Pharaoh, second in charge of all the land. If you know anything about Egyptian history or how they worked, Pharaoh was seen as a god. And here is this boy who is now a man in charge of the whole kingdom and basically the whole world. He could have snapped his fingers. And his brothers would have been taken away to death. And so he embraces them and receives them and loves them. And said, hey, this was God's plan. 
I still care for you. I still love you. For two years now, continuing on, there have been famine in the land. And for the next five years, there will be no ploughing and reaping. But God sent me ahead of you to preserve for you a remnant on earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. Hey guys, it's been two years. I've got a bit of extra knowledge. It's going to be another five years. Things aren't going to be great. But God will deliver us. He put me here to care for you and to care for your people and to love you and to remind you that God has a bigger plan even though you sold me as a slave. Even though you showed me no love, I will be the better and bigger person. And indeed he was. He did not let what happened to him change his conviction. What about you? What about me? God's at work. God's at work and we'll see it come to pass. And sadly at times our agenda is much shorter than God's agenda. And his time frame much longer at times than our time frame. Be encouraged by these words from Jeremiah 6, 16. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it. And you'll find rest for your souls. Many times in my life, many times in your life, no doubt, you've been at a crossroad. Will I go left or right? Will I go forward or back? Walk in that good path. Take that step forward. Take that turn that you know God is calling you to take. But what do we do when God doesn't act? What do we do when God seems distant? When an answer doesn't come or something doesn't go our way? Friends, God does not define our lives by our feelings in any given moment. He is so gracious, He's so loving, He's so good that He understands the times we are standing in a mess. The times we're standing there and there isn't much hope. And so He comes and stands with us and says, love me, trust in me. When you don't see the whole plan. When things don't look that great. But hey, we'll take a step together. And one step and another step. Sometimes a word from the Lord is not easy. Sometimes his words about going through a fire and going through a hard time you'll get out on the other side. There's a great story, a guy called Job. It's in the Old Testament. He went through a lot of hardship. He had, was blessed and then a lot of hardship and his friends and accused him. And... But he still loved them. Even though he'd been hurt, even though he'd been Betrayed, even though they were his accusers, God gave him a double portion. When the enemy had t took it all, and there's this little verse in Job 42, verse 10. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortune and gave him twice as much as he'd had before. I'm going to pray that prayer. Be a door of love. 
Be a person who loves when it's not easy to love. Be a person who cares when it's not easy to care. On the screen there, remember love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not... It does not dishonour others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. The love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. The one thing that will not fail to reach people is love. Let us love them with an unfailing love. No matter what, because it's powerful. Do we need to chat to that person that's hard to love? Do we need to start a conversation and to have a coffee? It won't be easy, but love never fails. Be the better person, not the bitter person. Come and open that door. Might take a month. Might take a year. Might take a lifetime. If we keep showing love like we've never been hurt, we will not fail. Hard. We need to understand the love of God, don't we? Understand his love for you and his love for me. Sometimes what done, what's done is done. It's hard to forgive and it's hard to love and it's a struggle and it hurts and it's... But let God change my heart. Let God change your heart. Let there be forgiveness. And that is a long road. And some may get there sooner than others. And that's okay. It all depends on the what and who's involved. Sometimes we need to be brave and take a step through that door or pick up that phone. We need to walk through the door of forgiveness before we can get to the door of love. Maybe we just need the door that says courage. Thank you, I'll have a couple of those doors. Or maybe a couple of those donuts. Amen, Lester. The ones that say courage. The ones that say hope. The ones that say, Jesus paid it all for me and all for you. So why can I not be a person of forgiveness and a person of love and be the better and bigger person? Not that it will happen tomorrow, but it might happen next month or next week. Or it may be a longer journey for you. Because we've all been mistreated. We've all been misunderstood. We've all been hurt. We've all been betrayed at some point. And maybe some is lesser, lessering degrees than others. And that's your story and your journey. But God walks with you in that. If we poke an old wound over and over again, it will kill us. We cannot heal properly if we keep revisiting the pain of the past. Hear me clearly on that. We cannot heal properly if we keep revisiting the pain of the past and that is as much for me as it is for you. Show some love. Show some love to those that have wronged us. Show some love to that person that is struggling and lonely and hurting. Show some love to those little children that may never hear a story of Jesus and so they will because Cheryl went and sat in their class. Sometimes we need to let it go. Let it go. Thank you, Frozen. There'll be another movie this year so I'll have more songs that we can throw into our sermons. 
and grandma and granddads and aunties and uncles and mum and dads can finally have young little girls singing different songs, so that'll be nice. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry. The world is looking for a church, and I would say a group of people who will love and care, just like us. We know we need to learn to say less and do more. Sometimes we need to get away from putting deadlines and conditions on God and on ourselves. And love like Jesus did, unconditionally, with open hands and open hearts, it's hard. It's an everyday challenge. Be an ambassador of God's love. Be a hero for his cause. Be a carrier of his hope and love. To that friend, to your children, to your workmates, to your husband, to your wife, to, to the young people, the old people, the lost and the lonely. Those who've loved you, be a person of love. Be a person who cares. Be a person who shows kindness and concern. Because in our world and outside these walls, there is a lot of angry, hurt people. Romans 12 verse 10. Be devoted to one another in love. Honour one another above yourselves. You and I carry the burden of manifesting God's love to the world. Let that burden become a passion and a call. John 13, 34, 35. Jesus is saying, but I'm giving you this new commandment. You must love each other just as I have loved you. And we didn't deserve it. If you love each other, everyone will know that you are my disciples. Love that difficult person. Let the Holy Spirit of God awake in us a spirit of love and compassion. Embrace the giver of unconditional love in Jesus' name. Let us take a step through that door, the door of love. Just as I finished, we had an opportunity to put a mum and a couple of kids in the crisis caravan on Friday as we uh, connected with one of the local chaplains. There may be in the coming days and weeks an opportunity to show some care and love to this lady and her children. They're over in Beechmere, uh, and yeah, so I just want you to be praying for, for that and for opportunities and doors that will open there. So God bless you. Let's pray before we sing. Father God, may we take your love to a hurting, confused world. May we be your hands and feet. May we offer some love when it's hard. May we love that person that's hard to love, that person that hurt us, that person that betrayed us. That is a long road. We do not expect a quick fix. But help us to be the better person. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We're going to stand and sing.